What's up, Karg family? I hope you guys are all doing awesome. I um, got all kinds of hodgepodge mismatch of things to show you guys. Um, I got some stuff that I got from my LCS. I have some stuff I ordered from Reindeer Studios. So I got some Kirby's and some dollar bin stuff, a private signing, and a giveaway uh, giveaway prize. So, um, buckle your seatbelt, get your popcorn, sit back and relax, and watch some very cool cards. Um, base, mostly baseball. I do have a couple football here. So, the first one, um, a while back, uh, you, I made a big trade at my LCS um, for a couple cards and some uh, store credit. So, one of the cards that I got is really awesome it's from 2019 flawless football um and it is an adam thielen pro bowl autograph on card just a beautiful card numbered six out of 15 i thought it was a little bit overpriced which usually you know the the lcs is in mankato minnesota and that's the that's where adam thielen went to college so um of course you're gonna get they're going to be a little overpriced for his cards, but um, I made a pretty good deal overall, so I just grabbed this one w along with the deal. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty dang nice, I will tell you that. Beautiful. Probably my probably my best uh, Adam Thielen card, to be completely honest with you. Definitely my most expensive. It's not my favorite. It's probably not my favorite, but it's close. So we'll put that there. Um, another thing I picked up while I was there, they have these uh, mystery boxes. I picked up a football and a baseball. I got a couple... Uh, I really did well on my baseball one. My football one, not as much. I think I had three cards in there, but the, the highlight was this uh, 2021 Mosaic Tom Brady and a PSA 9. Um, so I'm not really... I don't really need this card or want it, but if anybody uh, you know has something that they think could fit in my PC, would like to do a trade or buy it or whatever, just uh, comment down below or send me an email or a message and uh, we can make some sort of a deal work out. And then the same goes for this one. This one's a really nice card. Uh, this one came out of the baseball box and uh, it's pretty cool. It's hard. It's going to be hard to show on camera because it's very reflective, but it's a 2021 Onyx Premium uh, Julio Rodriguez autographed. Uh, the the card is a nine five. The auto is a ten. It's on card. Julio Rodriguez numbered seventy five out of one hundred. So if anybody does want this card, willing to sell it, I, I'd more I'd rather make a trade with you just because then I can get something from your collection. Uh, that's the type of things that I like, you know. But, yeah, it's a nice card, and it's worth definitely more than the mystery box cost. So, there's that. I also grabbed a couple of cards from, from Reindeer Studios. Uh, Scott's doing his Monday marker doodles. And uh, I wanted to pick these two up, especially DeAndre Dawson that he did for Ground Chuck, Kyle Parkin, and the Ricky Anderson that he did for Kent Corser. Um, and the main reason why I wanted to pick these up is because these two guys... Not talking Dawson and, and Ricky, but uh, Kyle and Kent are both very important members of the Super Collectors Unite group. And so I told Scott that I think I want to buy all of the uh, all the cards that he does that are related to the SCU group. So, very cool. 19 out of 25, 23 out of 25. Um, so very, very, very nice. Okay, I did pick up some Kirby's. First one, I... I've been meaning to pick this one up for a long time. It's not super expensive. You know, it's about what a 90s uh, non-rare insert costs. You know, you're talking the 5 to $10 range. But um, finally picked this up. This is the Circa Access from 1996. And uh, it's a really nice card. It's a very nice looking card on the front. But the cool thing about it is it opens up. It uh, has all kinds of stuff, uh, biography items about Kirby 
nice picture of him there in the middle. You know, some little 318 career average, 1991 ALCS MVP. Whoops. There I go, throwing it on the, throwing it. 2,304 hits. And uh, we got his stats there. Very, very cool. Nice card. Just, just one that I, I should have picked up a long time ago. Finally pulled the trigger on it. Picked one up. So this one. We'll hit the Kirby counter. Put that up on a stand. Um, and then we got one. Here, this is the 2023 um, Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary, and this one's the Refractor. So shiny. That's what the back looks like. And then uh, I got a 2023 Panini Prism Blueprints, uh, which I already had the base card, and this is the Silver Hollow Prism, whatever you want to call it. Fractor. Nice uh, shot of Kirby's backside there. So, cool card. And then, stand up for this one here. This one is uh, my most recent Kirby pickup, and uh, I just think it's pretty cool. I didn't know this card existed until a member of the Super Collectors Unite group uh, sent me a message about it. And uh, I found a couple on eBay. I added them to my watch list. I saw that one, the price dropped, and they accepted offers. So I offered them uh, even lower than the price drop, and they accepted it. So it's a 2023 Topps Archives. And do not adjust your screen. It is backwards. So it's the inverted short print. Um. I like it. I think it's a cool card, but I think it would be cooler even if the image was also inverted, like if it was reverse negative type of thing. But still a really cool, uh, neat card to add to the PC. You can always love when you add a short print of your player to the collection. Also, I got in a, a private signing lately. I just saw this pop up at a price that was just incredible and uh, i have a lot of these 1992 tops kids cards that are signed and i knew this would go along with that because i like to get it the ones that i have signed are all for the most part like players that i was a big fan of when i was a kid um, and it's a nostalgic deal to me so i sent a 92 tops kids to a jose canseco signing and it came back and it looks beautiful. I think it looks really good. I've seen I, I've seen on eBay this card signed and he and he signed it up here above his name. But I thought it would look cool signed right across his name. So that's what I requested. And that's where he signed it. And the autograph looks great. Uh, everything kind of pops, you know. It's a lot of different weird colors, but it somehow works. So very, very cool. I love this set. So I got like eight of these signed so far. I'm not going to go for the whole set, but whenever I can get like a star player from my youth uh, signed on this set, I will do so if I can get it done for cheap. I do have a handful of uh, dollar type pickups that I grabbed recently. Um, this is a 2013 Tops Camouflage Refractor Jared Allen. I mean, if you know anything about Jared Allen, a camouflage refractor just fits his, this fits him. So a very cool card, and that one's numbered. 306 out of 499. I also picked this card up from a dollar, for a dollar uh, from a fire sale. Uh, just thought it was a cool looking card, so I don't even know what it is. It's a 2020 Marvel, new uh, Upper Deck Marvel Ages. Decades card of Wolverine. Very, very cool. You know, the vinyl prismy look. Very nice. Uh, I also grabbed a, a 2019 optic prism refractor of Fitzgerald. And then I added to my 
CCPC with a 2021 uh, Man of the Year Mosaic. Red Mosaic. Very cool. And last a dollar pickup. I am not I'm not seeking his cards out in a Panthers uniform, but you know Adam Thielen now plays for the Panthers. But I uh, saw this in the dollar bin and uh, had to grab it. So it's a 2023 20, prism. And this is the refractor hollow silver, whatever you want to call it, uh, parallel version. I love these. You know me, I love refractors. So there's that. Then I was the, a big winner in uh, Math Bowlers. Was it 800 subscriber? 800 subscriber giveaway something? Yeah, he, had, he did a video. Uh, he showed a bunch of prizes and he did the comment only entries. And uh, I was one of the names drawn. So that's very cool. Uh, and then one of the prizes uh, that he had was uh, 51 in person baseball autographs. And one of them I needed, 50 of them I didn't. But I chose it so I could get the Jace Tingler autograph uh jace tingler is a bench coach for the twins so this adds to my twins autograph count but it does not add to the player count or percentage it still adds to it and i love it so it's very cool so thanks uh mr math bowler i will go through these other 50 autographs and if anybody sees one that they really want or need comment down below and uh I'll send it off to you. I, I'm not attached to any of these. Uh, the rest of them, you know, I'll probably use in care packages, maybe shuffle trades. Uh, I don't know, because a lot of these guys are, um, I don't think, ever made it past the minor leagues. Some of them did. But, uh, yeah, so I'll go through them. And, uh, if, like I said, if there's any of them that you need or want, let me know. We got Zeke Spruel. TJ Steele. Eric Abreu, Mitch Einertsen, Ben Christensen, Daryl Jones, uh, Chris Shelton, Chris Shelton, Mark McCormick, Terry Evans, Josh Carter, Phil Akins. Edgar Lizarraga, Victor Zambrano, Damian Rolls, Matt DeMarco, Brock Peterson, Nick Theodoro, Tim Redding, uh, we got Tommy Medica, we got a couple of those, we got like the gold parallel, and the silver foil. Zach Lee. That's cool because my maybe I'll keep this one. My son's name is Zach Lee. Our oldest boy is Zachary Lee. Gabriel Quintana. Brett Wallace. Chris Withrow. J.D. Klosser. Mike Gallo. Gustavo Nunez. Angel Morales. Tyler Heron, Kevin Ardoin, Jim Cavorius, Desmond Jennings, Pete Cosma, Logan Morrison. Logan Morrison was a pretty good player. Uh, he actually played for the Twins. I do have his autograph on a Twins card, so I don't need this one, but he was a good player for a little bit. Adam Casillas, Vince Castaldo, Derek Lee, Ryan Leahy, Pat Leahy, Jay Austin, Ross Seaton, Tanner Bushu, Ryder Jones, Danny Zell, Edwin Almonte, Austin Dakar, Harold Castro, Raul Chavez, Carlos Hernandez, and Tyrell Godwin. 
on the jersey, dual jersey, USA Baseball card with Shelly Duncan. So very cool. So thank you, Mr. Math Bowler, Mr. Steve Miller Band himself. Uh, very, very cool. And uh, so, yes, yeah, so let me know what you think of my pickups. Of what was your favorite? If you want to do, if you want any of those autographs, let me know. If anybody wants to do a, a you know, buy or trade for either of these two, uh, I'd be glad to do that for you too, or at least talk about it. Um, and that's it. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.